Hello guys, in this video tutorial we will tell you how to add the members card feature to your app. With the membership card feature you can give your customers a privileged status and maintain customers while generating recurrent revenue. You can add a member card specific to a user or user group. Now let's add the members card feature to your app. Go to my features section and click on view all. Search members card and then click on the future to add it to your app. This is your future name. If you want, you can change it as per your needs. From here, you can change the future icon. If you want, you can select a solid icon or outline icon or an image from our library or upload your own custom icon. You can even upload two different images for the mobile app and website. Now let's move to the content section. In the headings field, you can enter the name of your member card. From here, you can upload the header image. You can check the required changes on the simulation screen. If you want your users to earn, add, and redeem loyalty points, then tick mark the Enable Loyalty Point System checkbox, else you can disable the Loyalty Point System. Now tick mark the Add Points checkbox to allow your users to add loyalty points. Please note if you have unchecked the Add Points checkbox and the Loyalty Point System is enabled, then the users will not be able to add points, but they will be able to redeem loyalty points. Also, if you disable the loyalty point system, then the add points checkbox and the validation section would not be displayed here. Now let's move to the validation section. First is the unlock code field. Here you can set the unlock code which will be used for ver validation once the user adds or redeem loyalty points. The unlock code is generated, but if you want, you can enter your own unlock code too. Next, let's generate and print the QR code for the specified unlock code. By scanning the QR code, your users will be able to add or redeem points on the member's card. Now, tick mark this checkbox if you want to allow your users to add points once they check in into your defined area or radius. Enter the check-in address here and define the radius from your check-in address up to which your users will be able to add points to the member's card. If you want to add multiple check-in addresses, then click on Add More. Next, to find the default points that will be added once the user adds loyalty points to the member's card. Now, tick mark the Daily Limit checkbox to set the daily limit that is the number of times a user can add points per day. Similarly, you can set the time limit here. The users will only be able to add points between the specified time limit. If you want to give your users lifetime validity, then tick mark the lifetime card checkbox or else you can select the number of years up to 5 years for which the member card will be valid. Next, enter the terms and conditions for your member card. If you want, you can also change the terms and conditions header. Now coming to the advanced settings section, enable the QR code toggle to display the QR on the app. This QR code can be scanned for user validation. You can check its functionality on the simulation screen. Next, you can turn off the disable add points by scanning QR toggle to allow users to add loyalty points to the member's card by scanning the QR code generated for the unload code. Please note if you enable this toggle then the users won't be able to add points to the member's card by scanning the QR code. Now coming to the language settings. Here you will see all the default text currently being displayed on your app. If you want, you can change the language settings from here. Now let's change the layout and color scheme of your member's card future. Click on this color palette icon to change the page style and color scheme. Now click on the background icon and select an image for the page background. If you want, you can select an image from my library, solid color, or upload your own custom background image. Now next select your desired layout from the options. Now come into the advanced style and navigation section. Here you can set the page elements, color, font size, and indent. You can hide the borders or display the icon by tick marking the respective checkbox. Once you're done, click on save and continue. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates as soon as they are live.